Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantasy Kingdom. Off screen, I went and unlocked the Marksman. We satisfied the conditions of the last episode, owning seven beer. Apparently the last day just doesn't count as a day or something. Uh, I want to try to unlock another unit this episode. I'm thinking of building Graveyard so we can get the Ghost and trying to finally <laughs> complete that quest. I feel like I must have completed that quest like two or three times by now and I never checked on it. In the process of doing that achievement I got a ton of dollar reduce. So I think I'm gonna start off with just increasing our stats a little bit. But I want to increase, I want to try out the curse as well. Maybe it's a bad idea, but... I don't know, seems like a good one. We may or may not get the marksman this time. I am crossing my fingers. I am dedicated to my cause. We're not going to know until day two. Definitely think I want to build the tavern as far as possible. Could build the lumberyard on the left. And move the quarry down here. And my house and upgrade on the storage. get our workers working. The objective is just to kill 15 monsters with holy damage. Shouldn't be all that difficult. Let's see. I believe the first two days are skeletons, so shouldn't really experience that much of a difference to start off with. No, nope, there are goblins. Uh, we have eight logs, so I can build my second worker. I think I'm going to start getting stone as well now. No matter what, I'm pretty sure I can wait until tomorrow to get another unit. We've leaked a little bit, but we normally leak on day one. Like two enemies, which is what it is. I was thinking about it, and the key to like getting more glory and stuff has got to be the curse meter. I didn't end up getting the marksman. I'll do the satyr, I guess. And the skeleton's all nice and good, but it it's a single target unit, which I think kind of limits its effectiveness as time goes on. Definitely going to want a hunter, no matter what. So I think the bakery build's just a little bit too unwieldy for me. I don't know if it's just because <laughs> I'm bad at the game or something, but I always tend to struggle and lose a run where I'm going for any weed at all. Don't have to go for the booze, which is nice. Another thing I was thinking about is getting the gold bars rolling. I think it might be involved with the of evolution of the unit. So it'd be cool to see if that's a thing that they implemented. It's very possible that they have not yet. Uh, even though we're going to get the Holy Man, we're probably also going to want the Archer. So I'll just get that rolling. It may or may not be worthwhile to... First of all, upgrade our storage again so we can actually build Hunter, but to get workers working in the tavern. 
It's not 100% urgent for today, though. Unless we wanted to get the night early. Very good. All evil defeated. Seder got half of the kills. We're on three glory on day two. Which is not bad. I think. My gut intuition tells me it's like uh, your amount of kills by by 10 or something. Not quite sure. Probably would also give us more glory if we defeat the mini boss whenever that's a thing. So you don't need a blank man right now. More than enough planks. Might be worth having someone in the tavern, just in the interim period. We're gonna need nine stones. Which unfortunately means we're just gonna have to wait on the horse, because we have enough stones. It's just in the stone storage. Oh, there's one of them, thanks to the town event. That's pretty awesome. Here's our last one, which means we can put that in person out of work. I guess I'll get the hunter up here, right across from the inn, so that they'll be able to just move the food very quickly. So that was something that was occupying the horse before. This day is looking a little bit sketchy, not gonna lie. Yep, got two leaks already. Might lose the archer. Nope, we did not. Day's looking perfectly fine. Uh, I might not evolve the satyr this time if I want to get the priest thing done, because we're going to need to use the lot for the wheat unless we want to get a farm, which would be pretty space inefficient. Seder should level up now. Plus six damage. Fantastic. I'll get the hay bale now. Get the priest rolling. It's the perfect time. We now have a hunter. I think it's probably worth leveling up the archer sooner than red. Sooner than later as well. Enemies are coming in. I do wonder if the boss is also going to come earlier. I think it, it probably will. King has provided us much logs as well, which is fantastic. Probably use walls or something. Maybe that'll be our next upgrade with stone, but probably want a gold mine as well. I'll put it on the left hand side, closer to the gold deposits. We're so close with the food, it just needs to get into the food store. What the fuck is our horse doing? Oh no, it's sunset. God damn it. There's three food in storage. That is so AIDS. What the hell? How's the combat doing? Uh, I've been enjoying the AoE. To be honest. <laughs> what? 
the knight fucking just let that satyr get smacked. That's so bullshit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. The priest fucking died. Damn it. I was a little slow on the trigger there. The circle dudes are just not getting hit by the satyr. Crossbow man got 50% of the kills. Up to 6 glory. No one got XP today. <laughs> she is what it is. This motherfucker, please move the food over. Thank you. Oh, uh, now he's back to logging. Might need to deliberately unemploy a worker or something. So I really don't trust the horse. It's just stacking up logs over and over. Let's see, one, two, three. There we go. That should un unemploy someone. We can build the walls now, as well. Should help compensate for our terrible stanolies. I've already killed eight monsters with the priest, apparently. There we go. Now there's enough food. Guess I'll continue to get stone then. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Might be worth actually focusing the logs for a little bit. Because we do have enough trees, just so that we can get another worker. You're probably going to want to get that worker in the forester job, though. A little bit troubling. I think we might lose some duders. Yep. How much does a graveyard cost? Five stone. Well, it is what it is. I do wonder if the graveyard revives the units. Does that mean that they get XP, or just that they don't consume food. It's painful to watch me eating meat. Oh, he took the fucking archer's favorite food too. What a son of a bitch. Got the hero. Got anything to say, hero? No. Uh, of course. He comes to taunt us. It's fine. We'll do the arch uh, marksman eventually. Should be enough gold for the gold man at some point. The geologist. How much logs are there left? There's only like a couple trees. We could probably get away with building the graveyard first. How's this quest looking? Three more monsters. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the boss did not show up. So I guess... Uh, it's just hard luck to be on day seven, and this would be the day after day seven. You know what, I think we're definitely gonna want the graveyard first. Very cool, so I imagine. I mean, we might do surprisingly good today, just because it's snowy. It gives the archer more time to do his stuff. Odds are very good that we're gonna lose unit, though. Got enough stuff for the geologist, so we can get that rolling, and I'll put a flag right here, next to the geologist building. We are doing a shitload of damage, which is nice. 
Okay, now it's night time. That looks like we are not losing the unit. It's gonna happen, so I'm a little bit reticent to do it for science. <laughs> Priest damage is so fucking booty. Needs to get one more kill. Surely it'll happen. Got a lot of penguin meat today. Oh, the satyr loves the penguin meats. That's good to know. Help compensate for that day where the satyr and the priest died. Does the graveyard have an upgrade? No, it does not. Oh, and the, <laughs> the king is camping in the building that we're not using. Amazing. I love it. Looks like we'll probably have enough food to, for today as well. As long as the horse brings it over. I wanted to try melting bars, so maybe we can get that rolling. Definitely we're going to need renewable trees first. We're almost out of them. So the smelter's gonna need nine rocks, apparently. That's pretty rough. Uh, Fifty percent more knockback force. Whereas hungry shield will get more damage when we get a leak. Don't think metal arrows works with the archer. I think it works with the ballistas and stuff. I'll get the knockback. I think I'll also get this uh, stone. Uh, just because it's been there. It's like leaving food on the table, you know. Oh, that's pretty good timing with the king. Right, we've got a forester now. Now we're just going to need nine more stones. <laughs> Can't help but notice the geologist has found three four signs so far. You're a son of a bitch. What the fuck? Five signs? Are you serious? I see how it is. Oh, there's some enemies we could aggro. Don't know if it would necessarily be in our best interest. Gotta level up with the crossbowman. The priest. It's now up to 12 damage at level 4. It's real dog shit. Hmm, not seeing any animals. I think it might be worth putting an employee on the tavern for the time being. I'm sure someone will go. Yep, there we go. I think it has priority over the other jobs. Am I feeling bold? Mm, I don't know if I'm feeling bold today. We might be able to get this quest. Hell yes. So now we've got the water, which basically slows down units 10% anytime we land a hit uh, with the archer, I guess. So it looks like the satyr does not provide that debuff. Just major feels bad, man. The priest applies the debuff. Um, you know what? I will go for it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling bold, actually. 
I've got three arrows to the archer. Satyr's not that bad of a unit. It's no dinosaur, but... Uh, <laughs> fuck, our AoE unit died right before masses of units came. It's not the greatest. Satyr should counter these halflings pretty hard, though. Yeah. Oh, I can bury a unit, finally. Get that achievement. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. In fact, uh... <laughs> Might want to move the fucking satyr away from these assholes. Okay. Archer's dealing with it. Oh. Oh, that relic's really biting us in the ass. Oh, you know what? I can move this motherfucker to the bench. Get benched. Very cool. Got Ghost Unlocked and Lizard Unlocked. A vast repertoire of units. Prospo Man got half the kills. Apparently my idea was wrong. It's not 10%. Or so. Or maybe it is. Did the glory go up by 11? Alright, is the monk going to get XP? I think the monk's getting XP. Oh yes, that's really nice. I think only one unit can get buried, so it's not like the ultimate solution. It's helpful. There we go. Order's been restored. Now we have 10 rocks, so we can get that smelter rolling. Are we okay with that being our last building? I guess we'll just have to be. Let's see, we can't build any more. Houses. It looks like the smelter does not consume wood. So I think I can get people off the wood for now. And just focus on... Smelting gold bars and mining gold bars. And mining stone, of course. I'll still have the forester just in case we can eke out the tree in achievement. Though I'm a little bit dubious of us being able to do it in time. So it's like get like a bajillion trees. I think we got one leak. It's not the greatest. I guess a positive of the satyrs knocking people to stratosphere says it does buy us a bit of time for our other units to do their stuff. Uh, oops, accidentally hit fast forward. Oh, no big deal. Oh, <laughs> when they're in the graveyard, they just crawl dead into the place. That's pretty funny. Okay, we only got one meat. I think the other meat is just in the room, and of course the fucking satyr got the meat. Damn you, satyr. It says revenge for letting him die. Well, got a pretty decent level up, at least. Okay, we're getting some meat over. Not just the one. It 
Is there any stone deposits? There is not. I guess I'll have up to two gold miners. I mean, it can't hurt to have unemployed people moving stuff around, but still. Oh, we got another stone. Got to level up on our hero as well. It's cool. How expensive is the gates? 10 stone. Things are looking a little bit sketchy. Priest is so terrible compared to the fighter. It doesn't help that it's like a level 1 priest, or a 1 star priest, I guess. It was really clutched by the satyr. To be honest, I'm kind of a little... I think the satyr might actually be getting screwed by its ability to knock in its way. Because I keep seeing it like push an enemy unit and then not be able to. <laughs> Did it seriously not hit the group of units? What the fuck. I keep seeing the satyr whiff, so we might have actually fucked ourselves on that. It is whatever. At 27 glory as well, we have 5 gold bars. Uh, so we can absolutely level the satyr up. Probably level up our storage as well. One thing I did want to try out is getting the mason as well. It's a little bit late. Come on, Seder. Oh. Okay, you're getting fucking benched. How dare you. Guess I'll move the flag over here. There we go. Very cool. Gotta level up the satyr, so when it does hit people, it'll do a ton of damage. Crossbowman also. It's doing good. Excellent. Remove the flag. Uh, probably need my units. Do we even have the stone where... I'm just trying to think of what I want to upgrade next. If I want to get the mason or the walls up. Because we're going to need four rocks for the fighter, if we want the fighter. Which we probably want. I'll upgrade the mason, get that rolling. It's gonna take some of the stone from us, which is the only like problem. But if it upgrades a house, that will I presume that'll give us like another worker or improve our workers somehow. When it does hit, it does some good ass damage. Okay, <laughs> the priest is dead. Kinda just let that happen. The satyr is also dead, I think we are dead. Well, you know what? That is fine by me. 
we had a goal. Goal is to unlock some units, and we did that. Also got even more gold to upgrade our hero with, which I guess I'll just do right now. Max out that crit chance. The next curse upgrades can require so much gold, but if we get a half decent run, we'll have that much. Yeah, we've got two more units. And also the marksman. So literally like 25% of the units in the game we have not yet seen in the actual game. So we'll have a good chance seeing one next time. I think it's pretty good. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Super Fantasy Kingdom. Bye!